good morning. Today is Sunday. Sunday. No, it's Monday. Today's Monday, June 3rd. I was just getting ready to go for my walk. And Christy called me and Sophia is sick at school. So I have to go pick her up. I, gotta get, I have to stop and get gas first because I'm very low. Uh, Dave borrowed my car the other day. He said, Grandma, can I use your car? I'm really low on gas. I said, yes. And so then when he got back, I figured out he had been gone a while. He must have had his friend, brought, picked up a friend because my phone charger is in the door. I have like a little, you know, carrier thing in the door. My phone charger's in the door and the seats were all readjusted, even the passenger seat. So I'm thinking, yeah. He went kind of joyriding a little bit, but he usually doesn't do that, so I'm not going to complain. I'm just hoping that uh, I can make him realize that he needs to really save a lot of money for the next six or seven weeks so he can get a newer car. The car he has, is, it's got him to where he's got at right now, but <clears throat> uh, being in construction, he's going to be driving to a lot of different places, and I don't know that that car is that reliable. So we'll see about that. But enough of that. Um, I, look how I'm dressed. It's, it's beautiful out. It's sunny. I thought, oh, this is gonna be nice, you know. And I got up and got out of got out of the bed and got up, got out of bed, rain cold across my head. Um, but uh, I still got my Beatles music on Sirius. That's so nice. The uh, it's cold. It was cold. I thought, oh. So I was getting dressed to go for my walk, and, and then Christy called. But it's supposed to go up to, I think, 63 today. It's supposed to be cold, cool for the next couple days, which Jim says is fine because, believe it or not, he really thinks he's going to get the deck done today. So he's hoping to paint the deck. Jimmy's coming by after work. And they're going to get the deck painted. We've got the pool somewhat working now. It's looking pretty good now. But I wanted to give a big congratulations to Barbara Turner because Barbara hit her goal. Yeah! Congratulations, Barbara. I've got a ways to go, but I will hit my goal one day. I know it's taken me a while. It really is. It's been slow. It's been really, 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 really slow. I'm talking to you again, Fairy God Monster. Don't give up. But uh, it's, you know, it's like, like I've said, it's the way I'm going to eat the rest of my life. So what difference does it make? If it takes a while, it takes a while. I, uh, I don't really enjoy going back to my old way of eating. I do for that hot minute when I'm eating it. But then as soon as I'm done, it's like, oh, no, why did I do that? Because that's right. That's why I feel this way. And now that I've got my mindset back, because even I made smart choices yesterday at the at the restaurant. I had my salad. I did have my baked potato. Um, I did get ribs, though. I love the ribs. But I had the points. So I got the ribs and chicken, and I'm going to have the chicken today for my lunch. So I, uh, I think I chose wisely. And, and I had the breakfast before I went and didn't have dessert. I had my iced tea. I mean, it was just... I, I, and I had good time was with my family, so that's that's really all that matters. It shouldn't always be about the food. It should be about the company. And we had we had a riot. We really did. We had a really good time. And even though David was a little embarrassed when they sang to him for graduating, <laughs> that's just part of it. You just have to. There were, it wasn't like he was the only one because the whole restaurant was full of graduates. So there was a lot of singing going on. But we had we had a really good time. But. Somebody's in my spot for my pump. I have to go to a different pump. It just doesn't seem fair, does it? So, okay, well, I'm here. I'll talk to you guys after I get Sophia. Well, I'm back picking Sophia up. She's a little peaked looking. We had to stop once. I said, if you got to stop, we'll stop because uh, I don't need to keep making a mess in my car. And uh, we did stop at a 7 Eleven. And she walked in on some guy. He didn't have the door locked, but uh, he was coming out. So it was just like, I kind of think he was a creeper. I don't know. 
But anyway, um, I don't know if I need a jacket. It seems a little chilly. My knees are still, I'm aware I have knees, but they don't hurt. They don't hurt as bad as they did last night when I went to bed because all I slept when I was going to bed. I was aching. I really was. I was thinking, oh, I hope I didn't damage my knee. But I had to been quite a sight. I really had to. I really thought I, I knew the steps were small because this arena was built back in the 60s. And so the people were different back then. It's a really old arena. And uh, they're like little half steps. And I was thinking they were full steps. And that's where my, it was my mistake. But all that practice, getting down on the floor and getting up, paid off. <laughs> paid off. So that worked, that worked out for me. Okay, let's go for our walk. I, I'm going to start today. I'm going to start showing my food. Uh, I took the month of May off, and uh, I feel good about taking the month off. I don't feel bad about it. I got my frame of mind back. I have my mojo back, and uh, I'm ready to get back at this program of losing weight. And I know I'm going to do it this time. Pretty sure. I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it this time. But like I said earlier, this is the way I'm going to eat the rest of my life. And I just have to, I know Liz over at 23 points a day is um, saying how hard it is to maintain. And I understand that. And she's even saying, she said she wishes she could get back to when she thought she was fat at 150. Or 145, I think she said. Yeah, me too. When I started high school, I weighed 145 and I thought I was obese. Oh. I want to be that obese again. Please let me be that obese again. Okay. No, oh, I'm going to get a jacket. Or... I, think, I don't know. We'll see. I'll get, go run the once around. And if it's if I get to the corner and I'm too cold, I'm going to turn around and get a jacket on. So you'll know by the way I'm dressed at the end of my walk if, what I, my decision was. Well, I'm back. And as you can see, I came back and got a jacket. It's a little chilly. I looked at the weather thing. It's 53. So... That would explain why I needed a jacket. I uh, just saw one little boy riding his little bicycle. He was probably about three years old. I said, can you go fast? He said, yeah. I said, I'll race you. I let him win. That's how nice I am. <laughs> anyway, um, my knee feels so much better since I walked. It was a little stiff when I started. But I think once the, pump, the blood got pumping, because you need to have some fresh blood in that area, I do feel better. I just feel like it was kind of like physical therapy to get out and walk. It, uh, the bad thing is the knee that hurts the most is the one that gave me the most problems. When, not that I had a lot of problems, but it gave me more problems than my first knee. I told you my first knee, I just walked right to the therapy center myself. They were in a total amazement, but the second one was a little rougher. And the first one, um, I had a fanny pack that was attached which I didn't realize was attached to my IV bottle that I had to drag around wherever I went. And then on the last day when um, I was going home and they took the fanny pack off of me, they said, well, why didn't you use your medicine? And I go, what are you talking about? And he says, well, this bag was full of morphine. You, all you had to do was hit the pump and it would pump it in when you, whenever you were in pain. I went, I didn't know I was in pain. <laughs> I didn't use it. So they sent me home with some... Uh, what did they say? Vicodin. And uh, the first, they told me to take it before I went to my first therapy thing. So I took a pill before I went. And, uh, you know, it was just, I, I thought, why am I taking this? It didn't, it didn't really make a difference. I mean, I had, obviously I had some pain, but not excruciating. So when I had my second knee, um, they didn't give me the fanny pack because they didn't think I needed it. Oh, I needed it. But I thought, no, I can, I can bear through this. And then when I got home, I started taking the Vicodin, and um, I only took it for a week. And then after a week, I thought, no, I don't need this. So I stopped taking it and was, oh, I was so ill. I got so sick. I was vomiting. I had diarrhea. I was achy. I was, like, jittery. And I called my doctor, and uh, he said, well, how, how many pills did you take? And I said, well, I probably took, like, two a day. And I was allowed to take uh, one every four hours. And so that would have been, what, six a day? So in a week, I should have been able to take like 42 of them. And I think I took like five of them. And uh, he says, well, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're going through withdrawal. And I went, what? Because uh, my family, I'm 
I told you I can't drink alcohol. We have addictive personalities, and unfortunately, food is my addiction right now, and it's something I can't avoid. I have to have food to survive. But uh, so I, I know a lot of you told me to take some Advil or um, some ibuprofen. I only take my prescribed medications that the doctor has given me. I tend to not take Tylenol or anything like that. Um, not that you can get addicted to Tylenol, but maybe you can. I just don't want to take a chance with that, so I don't uh, take any kind of over-the-counter medications unless I absolutely positively have to. And uh, I think that the walk was the perfect medicine for me because my knee is feeling a lot better. I I'm still aware it's there, but not as much as before I went for my walk. So I, uh, I feel better. Anyway, um, and then I've had no problems with the knee ever since. I was able to finish my therapy for the next four weeks with my, without taking any medications. Um, my withdrawal only lasted two days, so that wasn't too bad. Miserable two days, but it was a, a life lesson. I, I learned something about myself. And uh, so I just like to look at life and figure a little bit of, if I have a little bit, I'm Catholic, so if I have a little bit of pain, I offered it up to the poor souls in purgatory because I still believe there's a purgatory. I don't think anybody has a sh straight shot to uh, heaven, although I tell my friend Sue, who's a Methodist, that I have a scapular, which is my ticket into heaven, so I'm going right there. But in my heart of hearts, I know that I, uh, I think Mother Teresa is about the only one I know that's living now, well, not living now, but who's lived on the earth in my time that I think went straight to heaven because uh, I think she had a do not pass, goes directly to go past jail or whatever. What is that? Whatever, you know what I mean. In Monopoly, you just go to go and you just go right in. That's what I think she did. So, okay, let's go water the flowers and uh, see about giving Sophia some soup or something for lunch. Okay, it's time to eat. Gonna have uh, eaten kind of late. I was kind of busy this morning. So I started my day with a prayer. I drank 60 ounces of water. My quote is, strength and growth come only from continuous effort and struggles. It's a six point breakfast. I actually should make it eight because there's a little bit of barbecue sauce on my grilled chicken. So it's zero for my egg, cucumber, tomato, mushrooms, peppers, and the chicken. Three points for two tablespoons of spinach and artichoke dip, and three points for my quarter of a cup of guacamole. I'm gonna make this an eight, because I forgot about the barbecue sauce. So I have 16 points left for the rest of my day. Okay, it's time for dinner. I'm gonna have uh, my black bean avocado chicken quesadilla with half a cup of cottage cheese, some pineapple, and a sugar-free sugar pudding with a cup of tea. It's seven points for my quesadilla, three points for my cottage cheese, two points for my gel, my pudding, and zero for the pineapple and cup of tea. Earlier I had a banana for a snack. I still have four points left over. Okay, I'm just sitting here watching videos. See, we're watching Carrie on her walk with Corey. Her and Corey are going for a walk, and I've just realized what time it is, and I forgot to close out my video. I um, I know I told you I've been eating a little bit different. I don't think today's diff was any different. <laughs> it's how we normally eat, but uh, I have been changing it up a little. You'll see that in the coming week, and it was just kind of odd showing my food again. I was just um, I'm not used to that. I, I went a whole month not doing it, so it was kind of nice. Uh, I got eleven thousand steps in today. I was so glad I did go for my walk because it really loosened up my knee. I feel so much better. It's still a little sore, but not as much. And I was watching Lainey's Life, and she was doing a, um, I don't know what you call it, the rebounder, I think, when she was jumping around. And even Jim coming in, he says, oh, that kind of looked like you when you were going down those stairs. <laughs> I give you credit, Lainey, because I would be falling on my ass. <laughs> I, I don't have any coordination. I have no balance. I don't have any more balance anymore. But uh, I, I give you a lot of credit for doing it. I'll just stick to my walking. But anyway, um, Sophia was fine, really. I just, we, well, we did homework this afternoon. I just think that uh, she said she had some bathroom issues, but I didn't really see any that were apparent to me. But 
Um, she went and played her ball game tonight. Christy said, well, maybe you better not come because, it, you know, it's like half hour, 45 minutes away. She says she might not be going if she's having a problem. No, she did go, and she had two hits. She was playing first base, so I could have went. But instead, Jim and I went to Lowe's, my favorite place. <laughs> so anyway, um, other than that, I don't have any plans. I had my dinner late. I had my lunch, lunch breakfast late. Not the least bit hungry, so that that's good. And I made that uh, chicken, you're going to see the chicken quesadilla, you've, well, you've already seen it. Not the chicken, the black bean and uh, guacamole, or avocado, I don't even know what it is. Black bean avocado quesadilla. I just ate it cold, I made a couple of them last night and um, for the collab, which I'm really loving the collab. I didn't realize there's so many foods I've never eaten. I've never had, no, how do you pronounce it? So it starts with a Q, Q-I-N-N-O. I've never had that. I've never had lentils. Um, there's something else I've never had. I'm not done watching all of them. I have a couple more to watch. But there was one more. There was one other thing that I've never had. Oh, ganokis. I've never had or ganakis or whatever you call them. I've never had those either. So I, I'm realizing there's a lot of food out there I haven't tried. I, I need to find these other than the cake and the cookies and the cupcakes and the ice cream and all the bad things. I gotta find some healthy things. So anyway, I'm gonna end this now. I'm done blabbering. And I will talk to you guys in the morning.